is our uh, composting system where we take uh, food waste and yard waste and mix it together and run it through this device. Mm -hmm. It's turned off at the moment, but this thing rotates at about a half an RPM. Yes, sir. The end runs uh, for two hours, then it's mm -hmm. off for two hours, and it just alternates back and forth at this point in time. And we're able to essentially compost that food waste within mm -hmm. less than seven days. Wow, that's wonderful. Uh, the carrier material can be recycled back through the system to get additional time on it if mm -hmm. you want, or you can just immediately use it. Um, but it's a process by the time I get completely finished is approximately two weeks max. Mm -hmm. That's very nice, actually. Can you tell us a little bit, like, what kind of food waste, uh, if you don't mind, like, you know, share? Yeah. So those are from the cafeteria? These came from the uh, cafeteria at the campus here at Texas Tech University. Uh -huh. And we've got, you know, the waste from the uh, cantaloupe. Uh -huh. And then we have waste from the uh, peppers and, and uh, strawberries and a few green peppers and stuff in there. Uh -huh. In here, I've got um, uh, onions uh -huh. and stuff because yeah. preparing meals all the time. We're right. Using all this stuff. Uh -huh. These are the byproducts from Right. There. So some of those, like most of those, I think those are vegetable. Do you have like a high protein content, like a, like a steak? No, mm -hmm. uh, we're just doing all of uh, their fruits, uh, their produce. Essentially. Okay, we're produce. Trying to process everything from there because that's really the bulk of the material that we're going to receive. Yes, sir. And uh, get rid of. Uh, in this thing, in mm -hmm. this unit here, this small unit, so I've just test you. I've processed over a thousand pounds of food waste in a little over a month period of time. Wow, that's pretty cool. And so when you think about that, that's not going to the landfill. Uh-huh. So, so with uh, the good sense for the school, right? Yes, yes, exactly. Definitely. Can you tell us a little bit more about your carrier materials? The carrier material yes, is, sir. is essentially uh, just mm -hmm. my yard waste. Uh -huh. So I collected this from my yard from uh -huh. the leaves and, and grass. Uh -huh. And I just run it through my lawnmower uh -huh. to help break it up. Yes. And I use that as my carrier material. That's carrier. wonderful. Do you have to calculate like uh, those like a uh, carbon mm -hmm. ratios or you just have the experiences? Okay. So <laughs> I'm more concerned about the moisture content ratio. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to try to keep my moisture content between 40 and 50%. Mm -hmm. As long as I'm in that range, then I'm, I'm happy with that mm -hmm. now. Once you, what if you try to sell and market the product, you want to have a specific nitrogen, mm -hmm. then yes, you need to worry about those uh -huh. kind of things. Uh, that I'm not worried about because it still had good compost and uh -huh. still uh, very valuable for the organic content that was into the soil. That's very and nice. I have this all calculated out with the ratios of each that I need to have. I just insert it in every day and away I go. Wonderful. That's super cool. Thank you so much for this information. You bet.